Hello everyone, in today's session I am going to show you that how you can simulate phase change material in COMSOL multiphysics. In this particular example, I am going to show you that how we can use phase change material in a heat sink for cooling purpose. You can see here these white bars are the heat sink and the fluid inside or the material inside here is the phase change material. I already solved the problem. I will run the animation to show you that how it works and then we will go step by step to show you that how you can develop your own heat sink, PCM based heat sink simulation in COMSOL multiphysics. So let's jump into it. Let's first see that how it works. So if I click here in the animation, so you can see here this is the phase change material. The blue represents the solid and the red represents the liquid. So you can see here as this phase change material absorbs the heat. It converts from solid to liquid so that's how it absorbs the heat and converts the and change the phase so this is the animation let's now straight away dive into the simulation I'll show you step by step how you can simulate it so the first step in this simulation is that you click once you open this dialog so the first thing you need to click on add component and click the 2d because in today's session we are going to solve a 2d problem so select the 2d here so once you select the 2d component so you will get this component here so the first thing after that is that you click on geometry and you click on the geometry and select so select the length unit as millimeter and angular unit uh, degrees uh, so first click here after that just right click on the geometry and select the rectangle so once you select the rectangle so the first rectangle you give the width 50 millimeter and height 2 millimeter and you don't need to change the position values once you click on build selected so you will get this bar so this is basically our base from where we are providing the heat for the heat sink so first we will develop the heat sink and then we will uh, develop the region for the PCM material so the next step again you can right click on the geometry and click on the rectangle or you can right click on the rectangle and then duplicate either way you can do for so once you get the second rectangle so second rectangle we want two millimeter width and 30 millimeter height but keep in mind this time you need to provide the y shift two millimeter so once you click on build selected so you can see here so the first left hand side of the heat sink is developed so so for the second heat sink wall again you can right click on the geometry select the rectangle so this is your second uh, column or second bar of the heat sink so in this case you again going to select the width is 2 millimeter height 30 millimeter and x this time you're gonna displace this second bar to 16 millimeter on the right hand side and again 2 millimeter is the height and this is the position and select always corner here so once you click here see so this is our second bar similarly for the third bar so the width and height is going to be same just you're going to change the x direction uh, so x position this time will be 32 millimeter so this is our third bar and this is our fourth bar so in this time the x is displaced to 48 millimeter so now we have developed our heat sink now we need to define the domains for the phase change material so again uh, you can select the you can right click on the geometry select the rectangle so, so this time the domain of PCM uh, you're going to define here the width would be 14 and height would be 30 select the corner for the base and uh, x and y should be 2 millimeter so once you click here so this is our first PCM domain for the second PCM domain the width and height should be same but this time but the position position should be shifted to uh, 18 millimeter this is our second PCM domain and our third PCM domain the x should be 34 now this is our third PCM domain so you can see here we have successfully developed the heat sink as well as the PCM domains so once you are done with the geometry then uh, you come to the geometry and click build all so now our geometry is ready for the next step so you can close this and you can move to the next step which is material so there are two ways to define the material in console so one way is that we as you can see here we selected the materials from the library and we inserted the materials here the second way is that you can define the properties uh, to the to the specific domains so this time we are going to choose the second 
uh, method uh, that's why you can see these uh, materials are gray because we uh, right if you see here we made them disable so if you right click on you can enable them here so after that uh, the next step is to uh, define the physics for the physics you can go to the physics tab and click on the add physics so once you click on add physics you will come to this heat transfer in this heat transfer you need to select this heat transfer in solid and fluids so double click on this and you will get the physics added into the model builder so once the physics is added so you need to select the solid and fluid domain for your study so first of all you need to make sure that for your heat transfer module all the domains should be selected for example here and the thickness is one meter uh, and this is this is user defined already defined uh, thickness and then the temperature we are using is 25 degrees celsius or 2 or 298.15 kelvin so the first step after this is to select the solid domain which is aluminum here so for example here is i'm going to select the solid domain going to be the aluminum heat sinks for example here i'm going to select all the domains this this one this this and this so these five domains are basically our aluminum material so we have provided the properties here the thermal conductivity density and the heat capacity so as i mentioned before so there are two ways to assign the material properties so one is that you provide the manual values here or the second way is that you can uh, assign the material here and then select the uh, select the domains and then when it comes to the solid material instead of selecting the user defined you can select from materials automatically it gets the values from the material okay so next next step is to select the phase change material so uh, in our second uh, domain which is uh, fluid once we click on the fluid you need to select these three domains which is which are your um, pcm material domains in the phase change material in the fluid domain you need to right click on it and you need to come here and select this phase change material so once you click on phase change material so you will get this tab where you can provide uh, detailed properties of the phase change material you can see here this shows the phase change material so for example uh, how it changes the phase for example here it is completely solid and this represents when theta 1 is 1 and theta 2 is 0 so theta 2 is 0 means that it is solid and then theta 2 become 1 here if, if I show you here which means that it converts into the liquid so 0 represents here solid and 1 represents uh, liquid so once uh, you select your domains the next step is to select the phase transition functions there's there are, there are different type of functions for example linear or heavy sites so in this case in this study we are using heavy site function for the phase change material uh, temperature between phase one and two so we uh, provided the value 308.15 in kelvin the transition interval between phase one and two is two kelvin latent heat is 240 okay so now let's provide the value for the phase one so for the phase one in this case our pcm material uh, is solid in the phase one and when it absorbs the heat from the heat sink it converts to the liquid phase so phase one is the solid phase so for example you see here this rt35hc is solid material so we provided the thermal conductivity when our phase change material is in the solid form the density value cp and the ratio of specific heats similarly for the phase two we provided the thermal conductivity when the when our pcm material will be converted into fully liquid in that form we provided thermal conductivity density heat capacity cp and specific heat ratios which is cp over cv so once you are done with the phase change properties so the next step is the initial value where you need to provide the initial temperature starting temperature which is 25 degree or 298.15 kelvin so the next step is the thermal insulation so these boundaries uh, we consider in our problem are thermally insulated uh, next step is to provide the heat flux so for the heat flux you need to right click on the uh, on the main physics and select the heat flux from here so once you select the heat flux uh, you need to provide where the heat is entering so i selected this uh, edge here so i am assuming here so this is the amount of heat which is entering uh in the inward direction so you can see here the flux type you can select convective nucleate boiling or heat rate 
in this case we are providing general inward heat flux which is 4800 watt per meter square so the next step is to is the mesh so uh, in this case i kept it very simple so you can select here different type of uh, element size in this case i provided extremely fine and once you provide it just click build all and you will get the mesh done after that the next step is to provide the study so in this case uh, if you if you can't see the study option in your model builder so what you need to do is that you need to click on study and then in this case you need to click on after that you need to select add study and here you will get two options uh, stretch the study or time dependent so this one we're going to do time dependent study so you need to double click on this and you will get this study option and time dependent option here so what we're going to do here so in this case we are going to solve uh, for uh, almost uh, 35 minutes so what we're going to do is that you are going to select the time unit in minutes here the time range we are going to work is 0 to 35 minutes with the time step of 0 0.5 or half a minute so how you can provide this value you can simply click here and then you can provide what's your starting time which is 0 minute what is your ending time which is 30 minute you can remove this so no problem and after that you can provide the time step that you are looking for so once you click you can click here add so now i want to change so i will click replace here so you can provide any time value in this case 30 or you can say 35 or 50 whatever time you're looking for and this is very important try to keep it as minimum as possible because that's how your simulation um, will be converged okay so once you're done with this so the next thing is that you need to come back to the study and click on compute so so this solves very quickly as you can see here the last computation was 46 seconds it was very quick so once you are done with the computation now come to the result section in the result section so you will find this data set dried values and some of the temperature profiles and the rest i have created i'll show you how you can create them so first of all what you need to do is that you need to click on dried values and right click on the dried value and go to the average and then go for surface average so we are going to see that how our uh, PCM material is, is melting from solid to the liquid phase. So for example, liquid fraction, I, uh, I selected here surface average. I provided, provided the name liquid fraction. I selected three domains because I know these three are the PCM materials. Once I define and uh, select these three domains, the next step is that you click here on the expression, go to the heat transfer in solid and fluids then go to the phase change and then you need to select this uh, phase change transition between phase one and phase two so double click on this and you will get this expression here so once you are done you will click on evaluate so once you click the evaluate so automatically a table will be generated in this case you can see the table number five i can show you here this automatically generates so you get uh, time versus uh, uh, liquid fraction values here i'll show you the graph uh, at the end of the result section so similarly for the uh, for the temperature values like how the temperature of this heat sink is increasing uh, you can simply again click on drive values go to the average select the surface average and then in the surface average you can change the name here for example i can write here temperature temperature of heat sink yeah so this is the temperature of the heat sink so again you need to come here you need to come here and uh, uh, you need to provide the capital t for the temperature and you can write uh, degc for the centi uh, for the celsius degree celsius uh, temperature unit or you can provide you can write k uh, for the kelvin so once you are done again you need to evaluate so you'll get another table for example in this case this table so you will get uh, the time versus the temperature of the heat sink so how the temperature increases over time so once you're done with this so the next thing is that you can right click on the result uh, you can go to 2d plot so once you click on 2d plot you will get this one and then within this you need to right click on it and then click the, click the surface so you'll get the surface plots so in this case uh, for for example for the first one for the temperature you need to select which study type you're going to you're solving at the moment so i'm, I'm using study one solution one and then you need to select um, entire geometry here uh, because i want to see the temperature of the whole geometry how it is changing 
and then in the next step for the surface one you to select the temperature and the unit you can select degree celsius so you can select the kelvin or radian or fahrenheit so once you are done so you need to click the plot if i click here this is the very starting point where the temperature is 25 degree you can see the minimum temperature is 25 the maximum is 140 you can fix those values by clicking here manual color range so from 25 to 140 so once you are done you can click to this it gives you the next plot at the next time step for example this is the next time step at half a minute and after that if you further click this is at one minute how your temperature distribution in the heat sinks you if you click uh, it so it will show you at each time steps if you want to really see you by the end of the simulation after 35 minutes how much uh, how the temperature is distributed distributed in your heatsink so you straight away click here it will give you the last plot values if you click here it shows you quite high temperature if you really want to see what is the temperature for example here i can assume it's something between 120 and 140 so if i click here so it will tell me okay this is 146 and this is 131 so uh, this is how you can get the temperature uh, plot similarly you can uh, again right click here go to the 2d surface 2d surface plots 2d plots and then here you can click and go to the contours so here you can see the temperature in the contour form as well for the liquid fraction so again you need to click right click on results go to 2d plot and then here surface plots but here you need to select the expression as a liquid fraction so how you can do that you need to click here for the expression go to the heat transfer in solid and fluids go to the phase change and then select this one phase transition between phase one and phase two and if you go back so if i select the first time step so at zero minutes so our full uh, pcm is in solid form so as it absorbs the heat you can see it changes the phase from uh, from solid to liquid and to show this in the graph so i have plotted a graph so which shows that uh, almost it converts into the liquid in 24 minutes uh, approximately so this is this shows that zero shows solid and one shows liquid so this is how your pcm material converts from solid to liquid how you can plot the graph it's very simple so you need to right click on the results go to 1d plot so once you get the 1d plot then you need to right click on it and go to the table graph so once you get go to the table graph so you will get this table graph and here you can select whatever table you want to plot so here we know that for the liquid fraction if you click so we have table number five so i selected here table five which shows that how the liquid fraction curve for for this problem look like similarly for the temperature of the heat sink uh, this is how it shows the starting temperature was 25 degree and it increased up to 115 in 35 minutes so this is all about the simulation if you want to produce some animation so what you can do is that you can right click on the export button click on animation if you want to player or file player is in, if you want to see how it look like and file if you want to export in gif or other format so uh, if, if you click for example on export and click on player you will get this animation option here and if you click on the play button so it will show you that how uh, the solid uh, pcm converts into 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 liquid so that's all about today's uh, simulation if you really like the video please click the subscribe button and press the bell icon so you can get notification about upcoming videos thank you so much